YouTube, welcome back to Deontay TV, the favorite channel your cable provider can provide, and it's free night now to subscribe. And today is the first day of 2022, right? We blessed to see a new year. We blessed to be still here. New year, new money, new opportunities, new blessings, new glow ups, new come ups, all that. Just take the time out to thank God you're still here because I'm pretty sure you was in some situations last year that could have ended your life, that you could have fucked your whole shit up. But God watched over you. He put his hand on you. He covered you in his blood, you know what I'm saying? So just be thankful, man. Hit them knees and pray and give God thanks because he deserves it. Now, this video we got today, man, is 10 easy ways to become 10 times better in 2022. It's by this guy called Alpha M. And we finna check it out and see what it's hitting on. We finna see what tips he finna give us to get 10 times better in 2022. We still on the road to 500 subscribers, man. I appreciate all the likes and the comments and the, and the, and people wanting me to react to different things, man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate y'all enjoying this content. I appreciate y'all tapping in with this content, man. I appreciate y'all um, giving me feedback. I appreciate all of it, man. So let's go and tap into this video and see what he's talking about. See if we can write some of this stuff down. Hey, 2022, good to see you. Uh, for the record, I'm gonna make you my bitch. I'm talking dominate 2022. If you're with me, gentlemen, why don't you drop me a big one of these to welcome in the new year right. What's up, gentlemen? Today, I'm gonna do something to help you be better in 2022. I'm going over 10 quick and easy things that each and every one of you can implement to be 10 times better. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with a super easy one that each and every one of you can do starting today. And if you're hungover, you definitely need to do this, which is drink more water. One gallon a day is what I would recommend each and every one of you do every single day. Now, why? The simple act of drinking one gallon, 120 ounces of water a day is gonna have a dramatic impact impact on the way that you look, the way that you feel. I'm telling you, gentlemen, it is next level. And most of you don't even realize how the Get that water intake, man. Drink that water. Drink hey, you. You stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop. Get this some water. Go go. Get, go, go get you some water hydrated you are if you are somebody that drinks caffeinated beverages or alcoholic beverages this is actually dehydrating you more so you may need to up it a little bit more than just a gallon the second thing that will make you 10 times better also your relationship 10 times better and the action that you get 10 times better is reduce the amount of porn you're consuming Woo! I'm not, I can't, I can't do what I get, I get it, I get it, I, I, I get it, right? But I also get that when I reduced my consumption, everything got better in terms of my relationship, my self-esteem, I felt better about myself, I wasn't all weird and insecure about the size of Big Al, or in my case, Average Al? When you reduce the amount that you are consuming of the movies, you're gonna feel better about yourself, your relationship, my God. Like, next level, the other crazy thing, when you actually stop watching a lot of porn, you start appreciating beauty in a way that you never did before. You're gonna find Senorita spicy that you never considered spicy before. It's crazy, but also amazing. Sorry, little buddy. Number three, identify somebody in your life who is not good for you, AKA that toxic son of a bitch. Who are they? Is it a friend? Is it a girlfriend? Is it a boyfriend? Is it a family member? You need to identify them first, and then second, boom, get their ass out of your life because you deserve better. The thing you're gonna notice, if you can identify and eliminate a toxic person in your life, what you're gonna notice is that you're gonna- What if that toxic person is me though? How do I eliminate myself out of my life? Maybe that's why I'm watching this video because I'm, I'm the toxic person in my life and I need to get better. That's why this video was put in my path. You're gonna feel amazing about yourself. Your self-esteem is gonna go through the fucking roof. Get them the funk out of your life. Speaking of funk, yep, <laughs> your balls smell funky. Which brings me to the fourth way to be 10 times better, 10. What the fuck you just say? 
times fresher and have 10 times sexier testicles. Powder those bad boys. Gentlemen, don't you think, don't you think it's time Finally, to have fresh, friction-free, smelling amazingness down your pants, I say yes, because the truth is, if you are not every day using a high-quality, talc-free powder, your balls stink. Fact, it's a hot, meaty mess down your pants, right? You got Big Al, you got the boys, all packed in and jammed into your pants. It's dark, you start walking around, it gets hot, it gets wet, it's dark, it's damp. What happens then exactly? Odor, bacteria, gentlemen, the number one way that you can eliminate stinky balls is to powder your balls. Unless your girl loves the smell of stinky testicles. But I will assume that she doesn't because 100% of women do not like stinky testicles. Gentlemen, the truth is, Pete and Pedro powder is the best powder on the market. But Alpha, what about Chassis? You said Chassis was the best, dude. Chassis is so 2019, it's ridiculous. It's 2022, and there's a new, better ball powder on the block. The Bean Major powder is better than Chassis for a few reasons. Number one, it is more affordable. Chassis gives you four ounces, Pete and Pedro gives you five. The Bean Major powder also smells better than Chassis, and the main reason, it works better than Chassis. Now, I know some of you are like, yo, Alpha, what about that cool life water trick? Can yours do that? These and glasses of water represent your sweaty balls. On one side, you've got talc-based powders, the other, Pete and Pedro. When you add talc-based powder to your sweaty balls, mix it up. What you're left with is a pasty, chalky mess in your pants. When you add your Pete and Pedro powder to your sweaty balls, mix it up. What you're left with is powder. Nothing but powder. The choice is yours, gentlemen. A white, talky, milky mess in your pants or Pete and Pedro powder. 99% of powders on the market are talc-based powders. Talc is not good. All right, do a little Google search and see. There's all sorts of reports and studies about, like, cancer and stuff like that. I definitely don't want to be sprinkling anything cancer-causing on Big Al or the boys. That is why it's critical that you use a non-talc-based powder. The Pete and Pedro powder, we use cornstarch. We use baking soda, arrowroot, zinc, oats. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the highest quality powder on the market and it works better than anything else guys hit the link check it out we've got three different options guys we've got unscented we've got fresh and we've also recently launched frost which is a cooling powder so for you guys that like a little cooling tingling sensation down his pants you got to check that out i'm telling you guys this is the best powder on the market. It's going to keep you dry, friction-free, smelling amazing, and did I mention smelling amazing? Hit the link down below, use that discount code, it is for a limited time, and make your balls smell better. And make sure to use that discount code to save some cash, which is actually going to bring us to the fifth thing you need to do this year to be better, and that is save some cash. Financial freedom should be the goal for each and every one of you, and now is the time to set your plan in motion. It means you got to figure out how much money is going out, what's coming in, you got to set a budget, live below your means, and save and invest your excess cash. The truth is that nothing will change your life like not worrying and stressing out about money. Guys, it's not easy. It takes you being more disciplined, but there is nothing, literally nothing, that will make you feel better, more secure, and more confident. Speaking of confidence, the sixth thing that you can do to be ten times better is smell ten times better and toss that tired-ass nasty fragrance you've been wearing for years. Guys, if you're looking for or a fragrance recommendation guaranteed that you compliments it's going to smell incredible you got to check out rebel by Pete and Pedro rebel is my EDP fragrance that I developed because I was sick and tired of spending 350 bucks for Creed Aventus I love the fragrance I would always get compliments but the shit's expensive and so I went to the lab and I created rebel it is not a clone or a copy but it is highly inspired by Creed Aventus but instead of 350 it's under 50 but with that discount code it gets even better another fragrance that I absolutely love that we've recently launched is Villain, inspired by uh, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. All of the fragrances come in the deluxe sample size, so if you're not ready to pull the trigger on a big bottle, guys, you can buy them individually or you can buy them as a set. All the information is going to be linked and listed down below along with that limited time discount code. I might have to check that out because I bang for the cologne. It definitely got to smell good everywhere you go. Ain't nothing like walking somewhere and having a lady be like, you smell good. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. It's not shy. It's not shy. Y'all not tired.
The seven simple things, simple thing that you can do to automatically be 10 times better is get up one hour earlier. Getting up one extra hour earlier. My God, the amount of shit that you can get done in one extra hour is amazing. Now, this may also need to be combined with something else I didn't include in this list, which is go to bed a little bit earlier, whether or not it's an hour or two. And by getting in bed at a decent time, it's going to allow you the ability to get up an extra hour earlier. And this hour, gentlemen, this precious, sexy hour can be used for all sorts of precious sexy things like planning your day to be more productive just having a little me time meditation time zen time or you can exercise exercise this is crazy i'm not going to include it in the list but if you're not exercising my god to change your life 10 times exercise yes i wasn't going to include exercise in this list because i always talk about the importance of exercise but i just gotta do it it's like i can't not do it it's such a fundamental part of who i am and i know that it's going to change your life guys if you are some Somebody that struggles getting motivated or exercising just start the hardest step to take in terms of fitness is the first one into the gym or doing cardio it doesn't matter I don't care what you do 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes a day move your ass you're gonna be amazed at not only what happens to that sexy ass temple but also that sexy ass brain which brings me to the next thing you need to do to be 10 times better stop feeding that shit think of it like junk food right you don't want to feed your body junk food or else you're gonna get all Sloppy fat man boobs and love handles. You don't want to feed your brain at junk food either. What is junk food? Trash. It is trash content. It is trash information. It is listening to trash people. Be more diligent about eating better food. It's not about eating a perfect diet, right? It's about making better choices and decisions. One meal a week. If you improve one meal that you're eating a week and make it a little bit better or focus a little bit more on the quality of the calories you're consuming, this is where it starts. And then maybe next week, it's two meals and then three meals. Before you know it, your diet is going to be a lot cleaner. You're going to feel better. You're going to look better and your body is going to be healthier. And last but certainly not least, number 10 or 11 or 9, I'm not really sure I got the lost count, but the bottom line, if you want to be 10 times better in 22, the thing that I need you to know and understand is that you are fucking amazing. Let me repeat that. You are effing amazing. Gentlemen, I just want you to believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. You are incredible. You can accomplish anything you want to, but it takes you getting out of your own way. This is the year to finally go after what you want and don't let anything or anybody stand in your way. You got to eliminate all the toxic negative self-talk that you've been doing. You got to eliminate the toxic negative people from your life. You got to surround yourself with people that are uplifting, that love you, that are going to help you and push you in the right direction gentlemen you are amazing congratulations you made it to another year now this year make it your best make this one your bitch mm. damn I ain, gonna, I ain't gonna hold you he was dropping some gems huh that's crazy i'm gonna for sure take take into consideration everything a little bro was saying I'm calling him a little bird, bird, probably bigger than me. But for real though, this this is my year, bro. This is your year. This is our year. I know we say that every year. I know I said that. I said that going into 2021. I was like, yeah, this is my year. I'ma do this, this, that, that, and the third. I'ma live like this, I'ma live like that. Last year wasn't a good year for me, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, some good things happened. But the bad outweighed the good last year. You know what I'm saying? But this year, just gonna keep God first. Keep growing, keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? I lost a lot last year. Family, friends, relationships, all that good stuff. I lost a lot of it. But God was with me through it all. Some of them friends and people I lost. We we didn't we didn't talk it out. We didn't came back. We didn't I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm really just up here like stuttering and quiet right now because 
I'm just thinking about last year, bro, and that. I'm just happy I made it, man. I just want to say thank y'all for all the support on these videos, bro. Thank you for um, watching them and liking them. And if you sharing them, sharing them. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling your friends and your families and your pets and all that about me, man. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, bro. Y'all stay safe out here, man. Till next time.